It's safe to say that we'll probably never get over the fact that Apple has just released an $800 watch. But the real question is, should you spend that much money on a smartwatch? Especially in a period of high inflation like this? At the end of the day, your pocket will be the ultimate determinant, but we'll try to help and guide you to making the right decision in this video. Hello and welcome to Tech Kaiju. Here we discuss the latest tech gadgets and inventions. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell. Also, please give this video a big thumbs up and if you ever have any concerns, questions or opinions about the video, don't be shy, just leave a comment down below. Now let's get into the video. Apple Incorporated AAPL, 3.85% executives acknowledged earlier this summer that economic headwinds were having an influence on the company's wearables business and they appeared to acknowledge those dynamics when they revealed the company's latest Apple Watch range last week. The company kept the new Apple Watch Series 8 lineup's prices the same as the Series 7 and it also reduced the price of the new Apple Watch SE model. Retail prices for the Apple Watch Series 8 range from $499 for cellular devices to $399 for GPS models. The new SE cost $249 for the 40mm GPS version and $299 for the 44mm GPS version. The previous SE cost $279 and $329. Those are fair prices to pay for a smartwatch in this market, but $800 for the Ultra? If we're being honest, that's a little over the top for a smartwatch. Think of all the things you could buy with $800, there's the new iPhone 14, the Google Pixel 6 and you can even get something as big as a smart TV for that price. But hold on a minute, don't make your decision just yet. The Apple Watch Ultra definitely has some selling points. Let's take a look at some of them. First, it has a rugged design and a larger screen. Just a brief glance at the Apple Watch Ultra will reveal its distinctive and robust appearance. The case is built from corrosion and wear-resistant titanium. Also, the case encloses the front crystal display's sapphire edges. Also, the 49mm screen is the largest display ever on an Apple Watch. Additionally, its brightness can reach up to 2000 nits, which is twice as big as the Apple Watch Series 8. That ought to make the display readable in even the sunniest outdoor environment. Sapphire is a significant improvement over the Ion X glass used in many of the less priced Apple Watch models and it can endure drops and a rough lifestyle without being scratched. The Apple Watch features a lot of options and capabilities, even though it just has two physical buttons. The digital crown and the side button have a lot of functions and they can perform them individually or in combination despite what you might think. A great example of actions they can perform together is taking screenshots. Yes, really, take a screenshot from your Apple Watch, believe it or not. Also, you won't need to worry about your Apple Watch storage since the image will be instantly saved on your iPhone. Additionally, unlike the single speaker present on the other Apple Watches, the Apple Watch Ultra has two speakers for better audio calls and Siri hearing. Also, a three microphone array is there to offer the finest audio quality during conversations and voicemails. Furthermore, a depth gauge gives scuba divers measurements of the water temperature and undersea depth in real time. The watch is also water resistant up to 100 meters, which is twice as deep as any other Apple Watch currently on the market. That's a function that will definitely please explorers of the deep. Next, the Ultra has twice the battery life of any other Apple Watch. The battery life of other rugged smartwatches on the market is one of their best selling points and now the Apple Watch is doing a nice job keeping up. The battery can last up to 36 hours with consistent use. In comparison, the battery life of any other Apple Watch is only 18 hours before it needs to be recharged. A later update will include a low power mode that can be used for up to 60 hours, so you can undoubtedly leave your charger behind and go exploring. The Apple Watch Ultra will be well suited for you whether you're an outdoor adventurer or just don't like to charge your watch every night. Another selling point for the outdoorsy people is the Wayfinder watch face. Thanks to complications, one of the primary ways that users will engage with the Apple Watch is through the watch face, and the Wayfinder watch on the Apple Watch Ultra is a singular and exclusive option. The face can display up to 8 complications by making use of the wider screen. On the dial, there is a built-in compass as well. The face can also be altered for use on a route, in the sea or on a mountain. Additionally, a brand new face-specific night mode is available. To activate, simply flip the digital crown and the entire interface changes to red for improved visibility in low light. The new Apple Watch Ultra also has exclusive outdoor-oriented features. Thanks to a number of software enhancements, the Apple Watch Ultra is more than just a rugged and durable design. 
A depth app is available exclusively for the largest Apple Watch. It automatically starts when you are submerged and shows the current time, depth, water temperature, time spent submerged and maximum depth attained. The action button can also be set up to swiftly launch the app. The Oceanic Plus app is another exclusive that has been integrated into the Apple Watch Ultra thanks to a new partnership between Apple and Huish Outdoors. By using the app, the Apple Watch Ultra will become a genuine dive computer. You'll see details like ascent rate, safety stop recommendations and dive stats. The software uses both visual and tactile notifications for use underwater. Additionally, it offers a customized profile, data on dive conditions and a shared dive logbook. The Compass app for Watch OS 9 has also been updated by Apple for the Apple Watch Ultra and all previous models. It has the Compass Waypoints and Backtrack feature as well as a new hybrid view with a digital and analog compass dial. The action button can be used to launch any of those. Apple also has new custom bands for this new watch. When purchasing an Apple Watch Ultra Band, you can select from one of three new options – Trail Loop, Alpine Loop and Ocean Band. The thin trail loop has a tab for quick and simple adjustment and is constructed of soft woven nylon. The alpine loop is woven from two layers of material without any stitching. A strong attachment is provided via a titanium G-hook fastener. This one is designed specifically for people that like to explore extreme environments like mountains or deserts. The ocean band is designed for the water, as its name suggests. For the greatest fit, it stretches and has a tube-like design. Divers will also be able to put it on over a wetsuit thanks to the optional tail. Lastly, you get all the new functions that the Series 8 brings. There are some significant internal changes in the Apple Watch Series 8. The new Apple S8 chipset and a new body temperature sensor, which enable more precise cycle monitoring for menstruating women, are principally included in this. It's excellent that Apple is now participating in the trend after body temperature tracking made its debut on Fitbit and Samsung watches in the past. Additionally, this sensor will document the wearer's body temperature changes while they sleep, which should shed light on their general health. The Series 8 also brings car crash detection, a first for the Apple Watch. After a brief countdown, this will contact emergency services and relay the user's location. There's no doubt that Apple has spent a lot of time and money researching what it took to create a genuinely fantastic fitness and adventure wearable, and the Apple Watch Ultra has a lot of interesting features. The device is a step beyond the ordinary Apple Watch in many aspects, from the durable design to the outstanding software features. However, is it worth it to pay this much for a few updates that are targeted to a specific group of people? Simple answer, if you spend a lot of time outdoors exploring mountains and deserts or diving deep into oceans, then this watch is perfect for you. But if not, you're better off with the regular Series 8. What do you think about the Apple Watch 8 though? Let us know in the comments below.